lots of turnover in the room this year. What are you seeing from Javon and PJ and Steph? And how are they kind of adapting to being the other guys? Um, yeah, I think um, when you look at the last few years, just having Eric, um, Brandon in the room for the last two years, and before that, DeMar and Paris, um, I think there's been a good precedent set in that room. So, like, it's easy, you know, as we sit back and watch film later tonight, um, and just coming into camp talking about things, um, of them understanding sort of expectations and standards of the room and sort of what standard they have to continue to hold of what's been, you know, in the past. Um, but, you know, I'm excited to, to, to continue to learn and grow with these guys. Um, you know, it's always good to have a new set of guys and now new set of teachings and first time for those guys going through and seeing some things. And um, all those guys, um, you look at um, PJ, Javon, uh, Steph, Donovan, Buddy, <clears throat> You know, all those guys have really come in really hungry in camp. Um, and I thought they had a good first day to start off um, first day of camp today. Absolutely. What, do you, what does Javon do so well? I mean, what, what makes him such a good uh, boundary safety out there? I think he's a really cerebral kid. He's smart. Like, Javon's a very intelligent kid when you um, – you know, you just talk in the classroom. For him to be, uh, I guess he's going into his third year now. Um, but, um, you know, he's smart. I think he has a good understanding for that age of what offenses are trying to do. So he understands our scheme of what we're doing. But at the same time, I think he has a good understanding of how teams try to attack us and what they're trying to do to us. And, you know, when you look at it, he played heavy snaps against Miami as well as UCLA and um, hit two interceptions in those two games and really should have had a third. UCLA, he dropped that interception in the fourth quarter on fourth down or third down or in the third quarter whatever it was um then just being around the football with his tfls and stuff like that um but that's him having a good knack um for being around the ball and also having a good understanding of what's coming at him how much do you feel like those guys like him you know, the guys that have been in your system now for years and they've seen the starters been in the starter now how, how much are they wearing to go to prove that hey, this is why i'm waiting all this time yeah i think they're ready to go and, and i honestly i said i said it this morning in um um, okay. At our safety meeting, like you, know, you sit back, you, you look at those, um, you know, you look at AJ and MJ and Quez. We got a lot of experience on the outsides, and you know, we just lost two guys that um, started what 25, 26 games apiece, um, and we're looked at as the inexperienced group. Um, but to me, that, that's that's a, a task and a challenge that you want. Um, you know, and I think those guys are up for it. They understand what shoes they have to fill, and they understand what is expected out of them. Um, and I think they've showed up well, and they've worked. And I think guys are competing um, for that position. I know those are the two guys uh, day one that are at the top of the depth chart with PJ and Javon. Um, but I think there's great competition. Buddy Mack had a great interception today. Um, Should have had two. He got his hands on another uh, ball, both his hands, and dropped it. Um, Donovan made a good piece you in the back of the end zone and Steph did some good stuff today too so um, there's good open competition there um, of guys pushing each other and helping each other. What's Donovan like um, on and off the field? He's like, he was a guy that had a really strong reputation coming out of high school and coming in now as a transfer. Well, how does he change the dynamics of your safety? Yeah, I don't know if he changes the dynamics of the room by any means, right. but I think he's a good addition to the room um, and I think he's come in and fit well in with the room um you know as you look those guys with their extra film work um you know he's not a guy that you have to force to get up there um but at the same time too if you guys are around here tonight at 9 p.m i guarantee you see every safety in there watching extra film tonight um so i think he continues to add good value to the room um and just meshes well with those guys i think it was an easy seamless transition for him um i don't think it was hard for him transitioning here um i think the kids accepted him well um and i think he came in here and just worked hard right away and fit in uh well with the guys right away yeah pj has tons of fire tons of energy he's a very energetic guy how do you kind of channel that into his play on the field and making sure he doesn't cross the boundary when he's when he's well, that's great because pj had some last year right where you know he has a penalty against north carolina i think he had another penalty and you know it's a fine line right like every day i love that he comes and he and he has great energy because that feeds to other people right like he comes in with good energy and maybe somebody's a little bit down today but you can look at pj and his excitement and it can get your energy up he's done that for me um it's just for him when you get out there 
and you have to understand when you play that game, you always have to control your emotions. So I'm always good with his energy. I love it, every bit of it. It's just when it comes to tough moments or somebody wants to do dumb on the field, you, you have to channel that and pull that back. You can't let that cross the line and now be emotional. There's a difference between playing with passion and being emotional. And that's the thing with him. We just can't be emotional on the football field. We can play with passion all day long and show it. You play the game because you love it. And, and I love that he has that, but we just got to watch that line of getting to the point where we're emotional about things. Um, and I think he's done a good job. I mean, I'll tell you guys a story. I mean, during camp um, or spring ball, that Joker had two two penalties for dumb stuff, and he's, he's set out quite a bit. Um, and he hasn't had one since then. Um, so hopefully that was a, a lesson learned um, for him um, with that. So he's been good, um, and he's been channeling that the right way, um, at least through day one in the back seven through spring ball last year. Is there a time where, like, you talked about, like, you know, guys staying till nine, till nights till 